Hello there, YouTube. It is day three. We are rolling in. We're a little early. I want to say the main show starts at like 10 o'clock. But uh, thank you to the awesome, awesome folks at uh, Heroes Con. Uh, we should be able to get down to the floor. We're going to take uh, one more look at things. Just like Toy Lana, uh, I'm hoping we can run into some people, uh, kind of get their feelings for the show, and uh, get to see a lot of our friends and some of the different people that we've been hanging out with all weekend. Hopefully you've enjoyed Heroes Con 2023. If you made it to the show, let me know what your favorite part of the show was. But it is day three. Let's get it going. Ken Pool collects next. Okay. early morning I uh, might just try to go around and see what we want to get a last look at today uh, Sunday Sunday is gonna be kind of like two parts for me I am here kind of at the beginning of the show and then we're also going to like take a little bit of a break I got uh, some lessons some different volleyball stuff going on today and then uh, kind of coming back to the show, closing. Like I said, just want to hang out and uh, hopefully we can talk to a lot of our show friends and kind of see what they got going on next. What uh, shows and products and uh, different things we have to look forward to this rest of 2023. But you can see right now, it is just set up. Everybody's kind of getting in, getting ready for the last day of the show. And uh, just kind of see how things finish up and hopefully a strong day for everybody on this Sunday. Hopefully uh, you've came out, you've uh, supported the show and the different artists and uh, gotten over to the table and got you some mythic legions for some of uh you know the best prices but show day sunday like i said we'll take a last look at things and uh hopefully get to chat it up with uh, quite a few people today and uh maybe some new cosplay today you know cosplay they uh switch it up each day a lot of your different uh cosplays so probably see some cool and different stuff but uh look at this first one at the table first one i i win <laughs> mythic legions i feel like we've spent uh, a good amount of time with these customs uh, i was talking to ish i think he has that set available. I'm definitely considering putting that together. Our little goblin and uh, ogre scale figure. Let me know in the comments, would y'all like to see me uh, put that set together as a Friday fun day display project? That could be some fun. Look at our dwarf character. This is really cool. I love the uh, face paint and uh, how they did the hair and uh, even the chariot, so cool. Uh, something to maybe consider with uh, our build on the uh, like gladiator pit. I really like that skeleton. Got a beastie there, a little goblin. There's a vampire, look at that uh, pretty gold armor. We definitely need a gold skeleton, right? Re-release, like a vampire ghoul there. Skeleton in the back, I love that head sculpt uh, on the goblin there. And the frog is a cool design as well. We've done the skeleton, that was a lot of fun. 
can see some of the paint in the back but yeah just some really cool figures and I've been enjoying looking at this case all weekend uh, if you worked on any of these uh, characters definitely let me know in the comments but yeah these are really cool and a lot of uh, fun to see definitely some inspiration at the show for popping swapping painting all of that uh, good stuff with mythic legions so Thank this you, came sir. in and uh, hopefully you are starting to get your notifications and getting this guy in the mail. It's a little figure obscure. What an awesome, awesome piece, right? Uh, I am so looking forward. Uh, unfortunately, this guy is not for sale at the table, but they just wanted to show more Four Horsemen awesomeness. Uh, this is going to be a great figure, and uh, hopefully we'll have it in hand very, very soon. Definitely looking forward to this piece. We are back. We got Jeremy. Jeremy, kind enough to uh, join us again. Uh, had a lot of fun talking to this guy at Toy Lana, so we're bringing him back for uh, Heroes Con. And uh, just off the bat, Jeremy, uh, just heroes con and uh four horsemen coming down south uh first impressions of the show and so it's been great uh you know you mentioned toy Atlanta. we had such an incredible reaction down there uh, a short time ago so coming back down south was really exciting for us uh heroes con is a very different kind of show than we normally do you we do a lot of toy oriented shows this is a much broader show, a lot of you know, comic fans, a lot of artists, a lot of cosplay, uh, but the reaction we've gotten has been wonderful. A lot of new fans who may not have known who we are got to come by the table this weekend and be a part of it and you know, buy their first Legions, which is a huge part of why we're out here doing it. So big success. We had a wonderful time here at Heroes Con in North Carolina. It's a beautiful area. Charlotte's been really, really nice to us, so loving it. And then uh, we've been talking, so if you've enjoyed what you've seen on the table from this weekend in Toylana, the landscape is about to change. It's gonna get pretty cosmic here soon. Uh, Jeremy, what, what do you wanna tell them about cosmic and how the new structure, yeah. how the tables might look in the future shows? So it's been interesting because you know we, we do these shows, we've done a number of shows uh, throughout the last few years. We're expanding the shows we do but it's very Mythic Legions focused because that's the big thing we're pushing. Uh, Cosmic Legions Wave 1 is just a couple weeks out of arriving at our warehouse. So of course, like we do for all of our waves, pre-order customers will get theirs first, retailers will get theirs and start doing those. But then before you know it, we're gonna start bringing Cosmic Legions to shows and we'll have them on table. So it's gonna be really interesting to have both the high fantasy Mythic Legions and the science you know, fiction themed Cosmic Legions back to back. And of course, because they're all built on the Legion system, they're compatible within each other. So it's gonna be really cool to open it up to a new kind of fan and then to see what people do by combining Combining mythic and cosmic together so for us at the studio I know fans are excited for us at the studio we're super excited as well to start getting those out there and bringing them to shows very cool and uh, I know a lot of people we were talking about new first-time people joining legions where's uh, the next show next opportunity for uh, our fan base to kind of yep. get out there and see these figures hold them in hand and uh, possibly purchase them at the best prices so the next big show that we have planned is going to be PowerCon in August. Uh, that's a wonderful show that is in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, last year, we've been going to PowerCon for, for years, since the very beginning actually, but it was traditionally on the West Coast. Last year, they moved it to Columbus, Ohio. They expanded beyond just being a Masters of the Universe convention. Um, and we showed up last year, we brought a ton of product, we literally sold all of it. The fans blew us away with their support. Well, we're going bigger this year. 
at PowerCon. PowerCon is growing, we're growing our presence there. So that's August 11th through 13th. Um, we're gonna be there. If you're interested in any of our shows, if you go to our website, sourcehorseman.com slash events, it will show you our full event calendar, but that's the next one that we're going to be, and that's, again, that's gonna be a huge one. And then uh, just last thing, mm -hmm. I know I'm very excited. Uh, can you give us just a little expectation of this year's Legion Con for anybody that doesn't know Jeremy uh, does a great job uh, working with his team to put together Legion's Con so what can they expect uh, if they can make it out to Legion's Con this year? so Legion's Con is in November that is in New Jersey we always do Legion's Con in New Jersey because it's close to the studio so the Legion's Con venue is 15 minutes from our studio and what that means is literally our entire team the entire studio team can come out and be a part of it um, and as far as product goes you can't sell us out because we're 15 minutes away so if we if you really buy a ton and fans do we'll just go get more so it's really exciting uh, our two marquee shows are that power con and that legions con legions con i always say for those that have never been that are not aware it's part toy show it's part art exhibit it's part family reunion so there's going to be a ton of stuff to buy from us and from others in our community other artists in our community they're going to have an incredible amount of art custom figures photography and so forth available for exhibit and for display but then the family reunion aspect if you're in legions you know that this is a community like no other everyone is just so thrilled to spend a couple days together as part of this as part of this toy line that they love so information on that if you go to legionscon.com you can get information on all the exhibitors on the location the times all of that and you can purchase your tickets we're actually we're months out we're 60 percent right. sold out on the badges between the people that have already bought badges and our exhibitors we already have more attendees this year than we're you know had last year so it's that's already awesome. grown um, we've already announced the day one exclusive so that's another cool thing we have exclusive yeah. figures for legions con the day one figure is the new version of Vorgus familius um we haven't announced day two yet but july stay tuned july we're going to be announcing that and we are going to blow some minds very cool thank you jeremy for your time thanks and for having i appreciate me. everything you do and awesome awesome weekend as always thank you very much for having us I know I came by the booth, but just want to make sure that uh, I highlighted uh, Pennywise. Uh, they are actually in Matthews. And you know, we do a lot of hunts and stuff in uh, the Matthews area. So definitely check out uh, Pennywise. Uh, awesome little shop. Definitely lots of comments. And uh, you can see some cool different figures like Hot Toys, but tons of comic books and different different figures so if you're in the Matthews area definitely uh, stop by and check them out and uh, also go ahead and pause the video and uh, check out the website as well heroes con check out uh, these awesome shirts that uh, they have for 2023 that is pretty good look check out that blue that's pretty cool and of course we've seen the backer all weekend and uh you know just uh the end of the con things definitely slowing down there's heroes as we finish up awesome awesome show got some more t-shirts going on got a few more cosplay you get like the VHS. it's kind of cool but yeah, just uh, we're gonna hit a few spots, see what else we can uh, kind of spot, see if we can see any more cosplays. Uh, short box that was an uh, awesome feature. They're like selling uh, comics and stuff online, a lot of your slabs and everything. Still a lot of people in the artist area. See Jean Grey. So, you know, not bad for a Sunday. I'm 
which our vendors are gonna be ready to break down doing some of those like last sales of the weekend <laughs> count down a little jeep down there I saw this some low two figures G.I. Joe, Star Wars, a Marvel uh, base up there as well, Millennium Falcon. Cons of comics. Some more Funkos. See, 20% uh, off all items today. That, uh, an interesting gambit pop. Conan, Samurai Jack, Mickey Mouse, Woody as a uh, mummy, Palpatine going on there, Star Wars figures. Klingon going around. Some Marvel Legends left. Jajo Classified. Check out those Power Rangers. Oh, check out Mega Man. All oh, those awesome designs. Going on and that cosplay is pretty cool. Uh, we got a few figures over here, Rebel Base, so definitely in the Charlotte area. Check them out. Uh, check them out also online. Got some Umbrella Academy, Spider Verse, Dragon Ball. Check out like the little lunch boxes and everything. So that's pretty cool. Definitely uh, check out. Rebel Base, Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey, if you're Got visiting Dr. Strange Ohio over there. driver's license, please check your pocket hill uh -huh. or the info booth. If you're missing your Ohio driver's license, actually, let's go back. I definitely, I like also, this booth. Also, if you're missing your North we'll Carolina see if the birds are still there. Which is a little less specific. And your birthday is on March 27. Get on over to the Heroes Info booth. You've won your license. Your birthday is on 327. You've won your license at the Heroes Info booth. Ooh, announcements. Last minute announcements. <laughs> Marvel Legends, Black Series. So, yeah, definitely some cool things. Swamp Thing, Punisher. I still see the birds. So yeah, we still got one of the birds, the flamingo. Still got a build a figure going on. The kiss figures. Look at the old school gaming. But yeah, a few loose figures. Still going. So yeah, just uh, some last deals on uh, a bunch of different things. It's a uh, big guy. That's kind of cool. April down there, Super 7. Just trying to see if uh, we missed anything, right? Betty Boop up there. There's more. Super 7. No, uh, ah, that one's, that's a fun little figure there. That's cool. Some different finder, right? Let's see. Uh, comics. Yeah, we got a little more space today. A little Warhammer there. Busters up top. Joy Toys, I think we've seen. There's a uh, Mauser pack. Bronx. Yeah, we 
we've seen most of the Transformers, we've seen most of what's going on in there. Uh, let's head back here, I feel like we haven't spent much time back in this area. Yeah, we definitely went and looked at all the uh, cool little comic books that were hanging out. There's some, yeah, we looked at that. A lot of the artists. Yep. So our guy Scott, uh, he set up and was doing some painting over here. I don't see him now, so we might have to go check the legions mythic legions booth see if maybe he's over that way and uh we'll head back over see if we can find uh some more cosplay it's a big hat <laughs> for artists But, you know, not a bad crowd for uh, getting towards the end of the show. There's some cool uh, Star Wars posters up there. We got some different characters there. We had to check out uh, the Star Wars. Definitely some cool prints. And all the anime, that X-Men is really cool. Spider-Man. Look at that Hulk. That is very cool. Superman. Definitely some good, good stuff going on. Thank you. Last call. That's it. Oh, look at some of those prints up there. It's kind of cool. Oh, we got here. These are pretty cool. Very cool. Very cool design. Got the lights in there going. Check them out on, uh, on Instagram. Power Ranger? Yes. But yeah, just kind of counting down to the end of Heroes Con 2023. Definitely a lot of fun this weekend. A lot of awesome, awesome people. So make sure you are here for next year's show. Uh, here at the convention center, Charlotte, North Carolina. Ooh, still got the Razor Crest up there. Some toy biz. Still got some turtles. Alright, I think we hit that table the other day. There's uh, the Merlin's coffee. That's a cool little like concept. Artists kind of clearing up the stage area. We got all of uh, the awesome like costumes and stuff, cosplay, suits and whatnot. The leather goods. We got a Spartan. Got a few more troopers, like a Hydra cap. There's some turtles up top. I think we've seen this booth quite, quite a bit. Uh, some of our lines dying down, uh, getting all the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The little uh, grading going on over there. Got uh, like a Harley Quinn like swinging around and stuff. That's pretty wild. There you go. Harley swinging. Got a 
Beetlejuice. Oh, I gotta zoom out. <laughs> a few more characters going on. Uh, we spent quite a time in uh, the booth over here. They've had some pretty cool stuff all uh, all weekend. All kinds of Actually, figures. Still got plenty of stuff. Mystery machine. I guess we didn't really look at the mystery machine. But you can see 501st pretty well cleaned up. I got the mystery machine all closed up. Got our Klingons doing a little bit of charity work. Some Funkos, they're all turned the other way. Got a little bit of music, a jamming. Yeah, still got the hut. That's a, that's a really cool place. Stuff there. Got some shirt designs. Some more cosplay. There's those uh, con exclusive shirts. But uh, yeah, let's uh, head over. We'll see uh, how things are going, see who we can uh, chat with as we kind of finish up the show. Got uh, our weapons booth over there. Uh, I think we checked out. They got all kinds of like games. No problem. It wasn't out in America. What about a judge? Some new statues, so some really cool <laughs> Dragon Ball <laughs> pieces. Yeah, <laughs> um, so, uh, all kinds of different characters. Got uh, some of the different pieces. Sorry. Some kind of statues, little money hero. Um, we got. We saw some similar. They put like these booths on uh, two different sides, which I think worked out probably pretty good. There's uh, some different anime characters. Definitely some cool pieces. Finished up. Just want to remind y'all, check out uh, Ishcon, little scan me there. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Carry North Carolina 9193, the Holiday Inn address there. But uh, check out some of the other events that uh, our guys are doing. Uh, obviously, we're here, Heroes Con, we got the Raleigh Galaxy Con coming up. And uh, a couple other shows there, Durham Armory, Air Scott Building, Raleigh, so definitely keep those in mind and uh, check out the whole IshCon with our guy Ish Ward. He's uh, doing a lot of great things here in the Carolinas, so uh, definitely uh, support him and uh, some Mythic Legions, maybe some other figures at those shows. A lot of people to uh, thank. What an awesome, awesome weekend. Let me start off with uh, Heroes. Aren't hard to find our uh, Heroes.
Con 2023. Thank you so much uh, for having me. Uh, I've mentioned a few times over these three videos uh, how much it means uh, that they have supported the channel over all these years. So thank you, Heroes Con, for uh, inviting me to the show and giving me just uh, some incredible access to the show. Thank you so much. Uh, hopefully everybody enjoyed the coverage and I uh, look forward to more Heroes Con in the future. Uh, Four Horsemen Studios, awesome, awesome, awesome. It was uh, great to uh, see everybody and uh, the team there. And uh, thank you, Jeremy, uh, giving us a little bit of a scoop for Legion's Con. And uh, I really appreciate uh, Jeremy taking some time and uh, chatting with us on the channel. Uh, so much fun hanging out with the team and uh, just finding out some different things that, uh, you know, may or may not know about uh, Four Horsemen Studios. Thank you to Ish Ward and everybody on the street team. You guys have been incredible all weekend and just being able to be a part of it and uh, helping out and just uh, bringing in a lot of new people in the Carolinas around the Charlotte area to Mythic Legions. I'm very excited. Uh, these two all-stars we've had in the past, but we're going to definitely do some customizing there. You saw this guy in the last video. So excited to have him in the collection. Uh, a first with her, very excited. I think I have a little bit of an idea of what I'm gonna do with her. We got a uh, little demon brother going on, Edzart. So that's gonna be cool to kind of get the brothers together and then eventually the uh, fusion into, I believe it's like a ogre scale character. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Swig is home. We'll get him up with the rest of the goblins. And uh, Zyarnian Guard, definitely excited to add that to the mix. We got our skull that we've been working on, so stay tuned. Uh, I think three, yeah, probably three of these figures, maybe four. Little uh, Friday fun day display. Definitely be uh, excited to uh, do some things. But thank you, thank you to everybody that came and uh, said hello. It was awesome getting to meet quite a few people at the show and uh, just overwhelmed with uh, the kind words and just being able to uh, hang out with people. Walter, Walter, Walter. Definitely had some fun times with uh, Walter and uh, talking everything. Cabal, if you haven't already, get on to Facebook, get on Instagram, Mythic Legions Cabal. Uh, Walter, definitely a great time. Thank you for uh, spending some of your weekend with me, hanging out, and definitely had a lot of fun. Chris James uh, with the Southeast Cabal. Uh, definitely some great conversations with Chris and definitely had a great time. I know I'm leaving out a million people because I am terrible with names. Uh, Joe and Jim, thank you for your time and uh, being able to uh, ask some different questions and, you know, nothing crazy about Mythic Legions, but just... Uh, them sharing some of their experience with the toy line. It's, uh, it's just some incredible stories, some fun things, and uh, just some little behind the scenes, talking a little bit about intern for a day. So I am even that more excited and can't wait for that opportunity. But I uh, hope you enjoyed all of the Heroes Con coverage. We got some other things coming up this year. You saw the Ishcon schedule. Definitely, uh, if you're in the Carolinas, you don't want to miss that. 
I believe next Saturday, weather permitting, we'll be doing the NC toy swap over at uh, Concord Mills Sailfish location. Uh, you know, Sailfish Comics, great time over at Con Concord Mills. Wow, if I can talk. Great time there, so looking forward to that on Saturday. I think that's like 10 to 2, but I'll try to get all that information for Friday Fun Day display. You can see I still got some boxes, some different things to work through for uh, that little swap on Saturday, but uh, just appreciate all the people that made this weekend awesome. It's cool to... Uh, you know, scoop up some figures, but uh, just all the people and uh, just being able to kind of be in the element back on the show show scene. It, uh, it was just a lot of fun and uh, chatting and talking figures and getting to see so many people. What an incredible weekend. Uh, getting to hang out with Ryan on Saturday. That was a lot of fun. Definitely enjoyed hanging out with Ryan, seeing JB, seeing Man Cave Collectibles again. I I wish I could just take the time to list off everybody, and I, you know, I get terrible names sometimes. Y'all know when I'm trying to pronounce these figures and stuff, but just a lot of incredible people stopping by, talking, hanging out. So thank you, thank you so much for that. If you haven't already, jump into Kent Pool Collects. We're having a lot of fun here on the YouTube. Also over on Instagram, Kent Pool Collects. And uh, just a lot of fun. Mythic Legions. We still uh, still got those Marvel Legends. So <laughs> definitely the, uh, the two lines that I am in right now. And uh, looking forward to a few more shows this year. And catching up with a few more people and hanging out and yeah, it's uh, it's it's a lot of fun. So definitely enjoying these times. But thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you uh, if you made it out and uh, supporting Ishward and the Street Team. Thank you for coming out supporting Four Horsemen Studios. Thank you for going to the show and uh, supporting. Heroes Con 2023. Thank you to our channel members. Y'all are incredibly awesome. Really, really appreciate our channel members. And until next time, always be hunting, have fun collecting.